the joy that you have of being with someone that you love, that increases your dopamine, your brain uh, chemicals, your feel-good chemicals, and reinforces memories that you've had about and with that person that you've created. Hello everybody, I'm Kenneth Copeland. I am so excited about our guest today. And those of you that have been here yesterday and the day before, you know why, glory to God. Dr. Avery Jackson, welcome to this broadcast, Thank sir. You, Chief Executive Officer, Medical Director, Michigan Inter Inter Neurosurgical Institute. I'm glad I'm not called to be that. I wouldn't be able to pronounce it. <laughs> Preacher is easy. <laughs> um, Amazing creature. Oh, well, no, thank you, sir, very <laughs> much. And uh, our golden text, 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. The very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, your whole soul, your in the intellectual part of you, and your whole body be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. He has done it. And that's what this book is about. Amen. This whole book from cover to cover is about spirit and soul and body. God started Adam that way. And it's, then he did what he did <laughs> and brought the breaking of this system. And over the, over the centuries, people have studied and, and sought after God. And the least understood revelation, I, I, I believe, in the Bible is the difference between spirit and soul and body. And, and you, can, you, you can immediately place people where they are. Mm -hmm. Now that's the biblical order. The spirit is the never dying you. Mm -hmm. And you have a soul. <clears throat> that because that, that proves it, that, that verse of scripture and also in the book of Hebrews and, and, and other places. And the spirit man is the, the person that will live eternal, eternally. Uh, you know, whether you go to heaven or hell, you're a spirit being and you will live eternally. Mm. I realized from Brother Kenneth e. Hagin's teaching, he was talking about the rich man and Lazarus, Jesus talked about, and he said a certain man. So I, I'm totally convinced that as he he called Lazarus by his name. Mm. So the people that to whom he was speaking knew both these men. And, and he, he's, he's using this to teach the difference. And it was a shocking revelation to me when Father Abraham, the rich man is in hell now, his body is topside someplace. Mm. So he doesn't have a brain, mm -hmm. the physical brain. But Abraham said, son, remember. Mm -hmm. His memory's intact. Yes, sir. Because his soul is intact. Yes, sir. And his memory, <clears throat> his, his, the intellectual part of him is still very much alive. It's functioning. Mm -hmm better than it was when he was in his body because it's working 100% now. Mm -hmm. 
He remembers every little thing that happened to him all of his existence, and he's going to have to remember that trash forever and ever 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 and ever. Now, his nature is still intact. He said, have Lazarus. He still wanting to boss Lazarus around, and he's trying to tell Abraham what to do. Now, isn't it amazing that he knew who Abraham was? Mm. So my point being, let's deal with this thing now. Let's, let's do the things that, in, and that protect and, and, and enhance this brain and, and this body because the, the brain the brain is the tool of the mind, and whoa, I, I better do whatever it takes to keep this thing running, particularly if I'm going to live out my, my, my full days on this earth, which in my case would be 120 years. And, and I, 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 I have made the choice, and I have to continue to keep that choice in place to do whatever it takes now, like I said the day before yesterday, spirit, soul, and body is the biblical order. You'll hear people say body, mind, and spirit. We'll show you know right there. It's not, it's, it's not a, a, a scriptural revelation. Yes, sir. But we're talking today about body first and its effect on the mind because it's so serious. Mm. Mm. So take us back into this, this train of exercise and, 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 and how, we can, how we can develop it in our lives. Because I, I learned this even as a, a young man that by being an athlete and so forth, I was extremely competitive. And I, and, and I, I'd go back to exercise, and I'd just start trying to take up where I was before, and it hurt me, and I was I ain't doing that anymore. I'm too busy anyway. And so, <laughs> but it has reversed my lifestyle. Mm. And used to, I was more awake and alert in the middle of the night, and was that way from the time I was a little boy. I didn't sleep much. Mm. Well, that caused a lot of problems, too. And, but over the years, the Lord helped me and reversed that. And now, because of my hour to hour and a half or so, praying, first of all, for all men, kings, and all their in authority and so forth, and then my partners praise God all over the mm. world. And, uh, and so, in order to take care of business, Man, I mean, like this morning, I was I was in prayer a little oh, a little bit before six, so I had to get up, you know, quarter of five. Happy to do it, and get up and get in that exercise <laughs> workout an hour. And uh, man, I'm telling you, this this is this is a miracle in my life, mm. and it's changing things. And you're supposed to be talking and not me. <laughs> <laughs> It's just wonderful to hear you talk because you're so excited about it. I am. I am extremely excited. And so that's proof positive. I'm excited about it for the body of Christ yeah. because we have not had. Now, Dr. Colbert and men like that, oh, yeah, we've had, we've had uh, outstanding information. But this is coming from a neurosurgeon. And so we, we get, it's one thing. <laughs> It's one thing to talk to a guy that fixes flats in a service station yes, sir. and to talk to a man that builds engines. Mm. I want to know about the engine. I can fix a flat. I need to get inside that engine. I want to know what's going on in there. Mm. You know, Brother Copeland, you mentioned about the exercise and the choices that you made and also that you're, you're uh, what we call the circadian rhythm, which is 
your sleep-wake cycles and patterns, you'll find that oftentimes when people uh, have work hours, and God bless them, but you know, when they're, when they're topsy-turvy, where you're up all night and you have to sleep during the day, that can create some challenges. It can create, uh, you have to really work on stabilizing your mood, your physical health, it's harder to exercise, and there's a weight that you feel on your spirit because of all of this flesh that we're wrapped in and it's kind of holding us down. And to be free uh, with that spirit, to be able to really focus on God's word, you, you, you can't focus inward. And so with the physical, as you mm. mentioned, going from the physical to the soul <laughs> to the spirit, if we have this, this, these physical issues, the tiredness and the fatigue, it's going to weigh us down and our soul, mind, will, and emotion, then is going to have a t give attention to the physical and being tired. And that's going to take away that time that we need with the Lord and prayer and, and so forth as he tells us to do X, Y, and Z. It starts absorbing your life and then, it, and, and you're, then you're down all the time. Yes, sir. Yeah, I see it. I've and so there. the dopamine is a classic example. So we talked about that you, your, uh, your spirit you have a mind, will, and emotion, you live in a physical body. Well, the physical body side includes your brain because your brain is separate than your mind. Yeah. Your brain is the physical processor of all the information that comes through your five senses. It gets wrapped up. There's a little memory loop there that starts the process, and then it slips into your mind, which is going to stay with you for eternity. And then, so, but the issue there is, is that if you're, uh, while that processor is working, if it's not fed right, if it's not getting water, if it's not getting sleep or exercise, then the way that you process information is not going to be as effective as what you need to get it to the memory and to also help to supercharge your soul as we're talking about going from body to soul to, to spirit. And so that's so important. And it, you also mentioned about praying in the, in the heavenly language in tongues, mm -hmm. but that's an act of your will. Mm -hmm, it because is. Because especially if you're, hey, I don't want to get up and, you know, and, and I don't, I'm not sure if I completely 100% believe what, you know, what God's word says about what it'll do for me. If I'm not sure, if I have those doubts because of my soul, maybe because of uh, scenarios in the past, people I've talked to, what have you, but in doubt in that soul part will affect my spirit because then I'm not praying in the heavenly, my heavenly language and, and, and that loses, I lose my focus and then I'm not filled up or being refilled with the spirit, my, my measure of the spirit as I'm supposed to. Now, if I'm not praying in heavenly language, then I'm not going to be listening when the Holy Spirit says, you need to exercise to get that body in shape. And that's going to have a, a cyclical pattern because all three are, are so are interwoven. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we know is if I'm in good shape, if my heart, my physical blood pump is working well, and let's say that yours or, or my, the body of Christ around me isn't, there was a study looking at what happens when we come together corporately. And when you look at when we come together corporately, uh, there's a study that says that when we have relationship, which takes effort, but when we have relationship, our hearts, the heartbeats literally sync up. Wow. So how... Now so that, you're approaching quantum physics here, and I, I'm liking this. Yeah. Whoa, glory yeah. to God. So it syncs up. So can I be... A so if that should be the absolute truth with you and your spouse. Yes, sir. All the time. And strife can mess that up. Yeah. Oh, I can see that. And the strife messes up your brain. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. And so, And so that's an important piece. So... The other piece is the way that God made us. People say, well, does God love me? Now, let me ask you yeah. something here, Dr. Jackson. Yeah. Uh, when our, our physical hearts begin to, to agree, uh, I can see, huh, the scientific law of synergy, if you put two equal forces together, you get the force of three. Mm. Now, spiritual synergy, it's one put a thousand to flight, two puts 10,000 to flight. Any two of you on earth shall agree as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done. Mm. 
So we need to be in agreement in our love walk, so synced. Oh man, I just see a a, a ministry staff. There must not be any strife. There must not be. Strife is so dangerous. It, 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 It is to the kingdom of God what what serpents and snakes are to the natural world. Yes, sir. It is so dangerous. Mm-hmm. So I can see this. Well, you talk. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of. Yeah, and so sink, sinking uh, is mm-hmm. is something that happens when we're in agreement, and the heart literally sinks. And when they come together, that can help with certain conditions. So it's really interesting because you pour this love out to the people around you, but you can't do that if you're in physical pain. You can't do that if you have emotional trauma that turns you inward and there's an emotional pain that you have, then it's a a challenge to be able to connect and have that relationship that we're supposed to have physically. Wow, praise God. Yeah, and so even thinking about uh, the joy that you have of being with someone that you love That increases your dopamine, your brain uh, chemicals, your feel-good chemicals, and reinforces memories that you've had about and with that person that you've created. So your brain's got, you know, the memories are going because you pull those memories back and then you feel it because the chemicals go throughout your body and you feel good, you feel revived because you remember the last time you were together, you laughed and you had a good time. And now you're more likely to exercise because you're, you know, your mood's different. You're not depressed. I can see that. And then on the other hand, the, then the more you exercise, more it increases the um, the other side of the equation. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, um, go ahead with that. I, I got so, particularly, you're talking about your lifestyle and what you have to do and the commitment that you have made, and, and I can see that commitment now because uh, exercise is, is a part of your tools. Yeah. You have to do this. Yes, sir. And my wife is very kind, as I mentioned, because we don't have a lot of time, and so my, my days can run long. I'll be in the operating room <clears throat> operating either in a brain surgery case or a spine case, and that case can be anywhere from one hour. We've had uh, 16 hour, even 24 hour, hour long cases. So you come out of the surgery and you get home and you have to find a place to exercise your your spirit, your soul, and your body. And so immediately I get home and when I'm talking to my wife, I'll perform jumping jacks. So the Holy Spirit said, well, you know, here's some things that you can do. Because I said, well, I'm running out of time. I don't have much time. And he said, that's no excuse. (laughs) No, you got to still do it, right? Take care of your health. You got to take care of all three parts of you. So anyway, jumping jacks while we were talking. I, I, I don't Pardon me for interrupting yeah. you, but I, I I have to get back to this. Yeah. Because I can see it where I, where I, my life and ministry is concerned. Mm. Exercise is to you, and the longevity of your practice, and the health of other human beings. What a rifle is to a soldier. Yes, sir. Now you cannot, you must not, you can't put up with a nasty, filthy weapon. It'll get you killed. Mm. And I saw it just flashed. I've never seen that before. It's a tool to your trade. You have to do it. And you know, just to piggyback off of exactly what you said, when I'm in surgery, when I'm synced up the Holy Spirit, because when I operate, I listen to the Holy Spirit and I follow his peace and then I do the right things and I don't hurt anybody. But if I'm not synced up because I'm not exercising and my, my, my attitude's bad because I'm tired, I'm not listening to the Holy Spirit, then somebody gets hurt in surgery. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, I can see that, glory to God. Praise, Father, thank you for that. Oh my, glory Jesus. Now. Continue with this and, and, and how that, um, well, you, you just be led of the Lord and take us, take us deeper into this. You know, uh, 
going back to the children, if I could, because that's such an important subject, is, is that we form our, our brains at different stages uh, of, of development from the time we're, we're younger. And our brain doesn't fully form until the age of 25 or 26. And so when we are introduced to these, uh, these emotional issues, that has an effect and informs how we see the world and has an effect on our bodies and has an effect on our emotional state. So you have situations where what is supposed to be right or is supposed to be wrong is flipped. And so now you're looking at what is wrong and you say it's right. And I believe it's because of one of the things could be what happened back then in your brain and your emotions. And that has a huge implications on your physical body. The way that seems right to a man, but it's the way of death. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, in particular, as a physician, you know, I, I care for all people. It doesn't matter what sex you are, race, none of that matters to me. It's about how can I be of help to you? There are certain populations of people that have a higher rate or risk of depression and physical challenges. And that is when you, when you talk about uh, gender issues. And it's an important piece because, and I think people are focused on the wrong thing. They're focused on the physical side and decisions made, but they're missing the spiritual side mm -hmm. and they're missing the solical side. And my heart goes out to people when they have an increased risk of infection, increased depression in those populations. And it ought not be, it ought not be. And again, I go back to that time when something happened, an abuse or uh, a misinterpretation of what happened and then how that informs certain decisions. And then you get to a situation now where you say physical anatomy and this, and well, that's not, that's all wrong. This is what's right and it doesn't make any sense. So for me as a surgeon, I study anatomy. I know the physiology. So to tell me that the anatomy and physiology is different than, what, than how God created it and its function is flabbergasting to me. And it bothers me when that happens and it affects people and, uh, and it affects them in all three areas. Uh, and so, and so I, I think that's kind of a hidden piece because we're focused on the one third, which is the physical. But we're, we're missing some of the real underlying mm -hmm. techniques as far as soul and also spirit. Missing the roots. The roots, yes, sir. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Now, how do you combine your exercise, your physical exercise, how do you combine that um, with praying in the spirit? Ah. So your spiritual exercise. Yes, sir. So uh, at being Word of Faith, Bishop Keith Butler and Pastor Deborah, they're just amazing teachers and they love the Lord and they let the Holy Spirit move throughout the service as well as the teaching. So that's kind of interesting because their posture is the teaching as well as praying in the, uh, the heavenly language and, and letting the Lord move at the same time. Yeah. Right? So for me, as an, it, for me it's no different. So while I'm academic in my, my, my exercise, my research, and how I do what I do in my brain, the Holy Spirit is always welcomed and He's always a part of that. Oh yeah, amen. Right? So, God. so the Holy Spirit said, when you exercise, dance in the Spirit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And now yeah. you get your, your exercise. So we know that if there's with heart, with uh, heart issues, cardiac issues, that if you have a sedentary professional lifestyle, six to eight hours of either sitting or standing, your risk of having a heart attack or stroke is, is pretty high. And those are the big killers here in the United States. And we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Hey, Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you and I are learning a lot this week about how the spirit, soul, and body are connected and how they work together. Now, the power of agreement on the word or the destructive nature of strife can be operating in our lives, but it's your choice. That's why it's so important to get a hold of the things that Brother Copeland and Dr. Jackson shared today about incorporating joy and exercise into your daily routine. When you combine the physical realm of exercise with the spiritual realm of praying in the spirit, you're taking ground for living a happier and healthier life. You are a three-part being, spirit, soul, and body, made in the image of God. 
Your health is connected to all three parts, not just your physical body. In his book, The God Prescription, Dr. Avery Jackson III, a respected and experienced neurosurgeon, shares an approach to health that addresses the spirit-mind-body connection. As Chief Executive Officer and Medical Director of Michigan Neurological Institute, Dr. Jackson has years of study and experience in the field of neurosurgery. He shares how the Father's love for us is so great, he purposefully has equipped us with tools to protect and keep us healthy. Diseases such as cancer, stroke, autoimmunity, and depression can be addressed through forgiveness, studying the Word of God, exercise, and a healthy relationship with others. Discover the connection between laughter and your immune system and how science is proving scriptures such as the joy of the Lord is my strength. Be equipped with God's prescription so you can walk in wholeness. Order Dr. Avery Jackson's book, The God Prescription, at a special price of 11 pounds on our website, kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special, or call 01225 787 310. Understand how God built the human body to repair itself and uncover life changing concepts of healing. God has a plan for your spiritual, mental, and physical health. Outside the UK, call for postage. This offer is good for 30 days. If you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, today is the day of your salvation. You may be watching this broadcast. You're born again. You're full of the Holy Ghost, and that's wonderful. But there may be somebody watching right now who's never prayed this simple prayer to make Jesus their Lord and Jesus their Savior. And if that's you, then I want you to stop right now what you're doing and pray this prayer out loud with me. Just believe it in your heart. Say it with your mouth. Father in heaven, I come to you in Jesus' name. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth. Jesus is Lord. He died in my place. He rose again for me. He lives for me. And Jesus, I want to live for you. Today, I am a new creation in you. Take my life, Lord Jesus. Do something with it and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer, the Bible says you are born again. Your new life starts right now, today, and all of heaven rejoices. Why? Because you came home, because you are back in your father's house. And everybody here at Kenneth Copa Ministries gets pretty excited about it too. And we want to hear from you because we've got a gift for you. It's a book called He Did It All for You by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. This book's going to just help you find out more about who you are in Jesus, who Jesus is in you. And when you order this book, we're going to send you a couple little brochures that just help you simply learn how to read, how to understand your Bible. We want this to be a free gift to you. It's free. All you have to do is let us know you want it. Go to kcm.org, order yours today. We'll get it right out to you. Then be sure to join Brother Copeland and Dr. Jackson again tomorrow as they talk about God's prescription to defeating cancer. You do not want to miss this. There is revelation here. There is power here. And what the world says is incurable, God has an answer. For what the world says there is no way out of, God says, I've already made a way. And he calls you healed and whole and well today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember that Jesus is Lord. Email us today at partners at kcm.org.uk and request your free salvation package.